Are you looking to find more challenging targets to take photos of with your astrophotography setup? Well here's how I do it, and here's how you can do it too. This is Australian Astronomy, and I'm Logan Nicholson. So today I'll be going over how I find my targets for imaging, and how I put them into my imaging software. So this applies to any sort of camera, any sort of setup really at all, and it also applies to SGP and Nina in particular, so that being Sequence Generator Pro and Nighttime Imaging and Astronomy. So you can either frame pre-existing targets that you've already taken photo of or new ones that you want to find if you're finding the same targets over and over again, boring like Orion, Nebula, etc. So here we go. So first I pull up this website called Blackwater Skies dot co dot uk and I'm using the imaging toolbox this basically just displays a sky survey of the entire sky as you can see like so it's got basically just literally the entire sky in the field so first what you want to do you want to pick out a region of sky that may look interesting so Let's say I would want to take a photo of, say, Orion Nebula at this time of night, or oh, year, sorry. I look at the Orion declination of that target, and then I go to my Stellarium, so simply just Stellarium. Uh, I'm using the web version, but you can use the browser as well. Set the time to now, and as we can see, we want to look around for Orion find the t uh, coordinates, and that's what we're looking at now. So Orion may look like a great imaging target, it's very high up at the moment, but the problem is, it's just dawn right, uh, sorry, it's just beginning to get dark right now. If we go ahead to, say, midnight, then Orion's gone, and we still have a bunch of wasted hours that we could use to image targets. So we can't exactly use Orion, so instead, we have to look at for something else. So something, ideally, at just about halfway through the night, that's just crossing the sort of meridian region. So I want to look around here, around Crux, Vila, Carina, etc. So I'll zoom out from Orion with this toolbox. And got a heap of nebulosity here. I've actually already taken a photo of this area as you can see in my previous video. So instead, I was looking at this sort of stretch of nebulosity. This looked pretty interesting. So look, these coordinates, 949 minus 3833. And that is also in Fraternal and Constellations, just about Antelovator, Pixis region. While we're still here, and another important thing to consider is how bright the image actually is, or sorry, the target. Because if you're imaging something super dim like this, you might not pick it up at all unless you're at a dark sky site. Whereas, say, if we move it to Carina Nebula, that's super bright, and you'd pick it up really easily from basically anywhere. So that's very important to consider. So these wider regions, lighter regions are brighter nebulae. Then again, look at this. This is a very sort of dark, uh, dark, not so bright nebula. It requires a lot more imaging time, a lot faster scope, etc. Oops. So that looks just about right for my meridian target. Now, what we want to do, you want to select your equipment here. So, camera will take whatever camera you're using, whatever telescope you're using. If you're not using a specific one, you can put all your info into here. We'll click this star icon to get rid of the constellations. And then we'll hit this eyeball. And now that will frame our target. I'm using a very wide field setup, so it captures a big area of sky. But something like this target would be way too big for a normal imaging setup. So for me, that's good. But for other people, you'd only capture a very small sort of region of this like this. So I'm looking around, seeing if there's anything sort of cooler I can get in terms of this field, maybe this region here, 
That looks pretty cool. Zoom in a little bit. It takes a second to load in. But so this is this is just sort of a faint nebula in the southern southern ish sky. So I think this uh, region actually looks pretty cool with all this dust here. So that's basically concludes our first step of this process. But if you want, you can sort of look all around the sky, just find anything that really captures your eye. And uh, you'd think that would make a nice looking photo. So I think that would be pretty cool right there. So from there, what we want to do is take these coordinates, 944 minus 3508, and open our capture software of choice. So I'm using nighttime imaging and astronomy. Then we want to go to cam uh, framing, framing section. In Sequence Generator Pro, you'd go to Framing Wizard, I believe, and you'd still be able to enter the coordinates. I'm going to go to NASA Sky Survey to get a more detailed image. We'll go to 938, and let's check. Using 944, 3508. Okay, 945. Minus 35. Oops. Minus 35. Oh, 08. Then we want to hit load image. My field of view is very large, but you can set it to be smaller. And that's the sky survey. And these are just the exact coordinates of the target we're looking to image. You should already have your all your camera, camera settings set up beforehand, ideally. So then you can frame accurately. I'm going to hit load image. And that'll just load quickly. Okay, so the image just loaded in, and that looks pretty cool. So you can see this white box is my frame here. So I basically just want to put it where I think would look nice. So I think this looks something like a tree, even sort of growing, which is pretty cool. So I'll just about position it like that. We've got this sort of main bit down here. And we also have these filaments coming out, even a, a few stray galaxies, which is pretty cool. Might see a little bit of those in the field. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, maybe shift this over a bit, left or right. And so then, yep, yeah, so that looks pretty good to me. So from that point, what we want to do is hit replace a sequence target. And I'll just rename that to, I don't actually know what this target is named, so I just name it imaging target. From there, uh, we want to enable to start guiding. Yes, salute the target. Yes, these are just my own settings. And you hit all of the settings that you would like to use. It is saved as your sequence there, always make sure you save your sequence as well. And yeah, so that's it for this uh, episode, it's a bit of a short one, but I hope that was really useful for anyone looking to find targets in their, uh, for their imaging. I'm Logan Nicholson, this was Australian Astronomy, thanks for watching.